Hello and welcome back to the Anime Club, the club where we talk about animes that we've been recently watching, viewing and enjoying. Let me know what you've been recently watching and enjoying, and if you see what I'm about to talk about, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. After so many different final seasons, final parts, we finally have the last ever piece of Attack on Titan content, and it was beautiful. Was this episode the best Attack on Titan episode ever? No. Was it perfect? No. But was it a brilliant, satisfying ending to what has been one of, in my opinion, the greatest pieces of fiction and stories told? Yes, absolutely. This finale left me feeling not necessarily happy with like where the characters end up, but it was, it was heartbreaking. But at the same time, I felt so satisfying. I felt like the story had concluded in a way that I don't feel like I've just watched something gone I need more will I always want more yes I love all of the characters in this but was this a great send-off and just a brilliant way to finalize the story yes I feel that each character got a deserving ending each character got some satisfying resolution to their character while some maybe not what we wanted to see it was still a resolution at best <laughs> I'm very lucky and thankful that I didn't get the ending spoiled by any manga or anything and so this was all completely fresh to me and I loved it. We'll get the obvious out of the way, the animation and the music. Uh, Attack on Titan is never failed on these parts. The music has always been stunning from the opening credits to the first season to now. Every scene is filled with just brilliant music. It is always stunning. I, I, I just adds so much to it. And the animation, I mean, it's, oh my God, they, they did some of those scenes so well. The final scene of Eren looking up at Mikasa was just beautiful the action fight scenes these are huge huge scale fights and so quick paced and they just smashed it out of the park in my opinion I, I, I don't have any fault it was just so good first half being the team trying to take down Eren was just so well done and it was just a joy to watch all these different titans with different looks was just so cool to see something that I didn't think I would ever get to see seeing old titan forms come back like Bertolt and, and oh it was just so good I, I loved it seeing Levi and Mikasa just go at it one more time one last time oh it was just I mean you always know that they're gonna show up but some of the shots and the sequences were just oh it was so good and then you have these brilliant little moments in between Gene calling Reiner a scout was just yeah it, oh, it's like full circle it brought such a smile to my face and you could see on Reiner's face that it meant a lot to him you have this beautiful moment of this character who has been struggling in so many different ways. In the first season, he was a friend to them and, and, and a part of the scouts. And despite not probably wanting to, he made friends and he cares for them. And so to see him sort of be accepted into the scouts, <laughs> oh, it was just such a lovely moment and I loved it so much. I'm so happy that in between this massive fight and, and, and all out battle, that they still found moments to have great dialogue, to build the characters, to, to resolute these people. I think the beauty of this moment, and to be honest, it's sort of what Aaron wanted, was that it brought everyone together. For this moment, you had the Parodies, the Eldians, the Marlians, all working together as one goal to try and take down Aaron. Which, as he says, at the end of the day, was his goal. His goal was to sort of be betrayed as the villain. Aaron wanted to ruin his reputation and wanted to be a villain, so that in turn, his friends would look like heroes and they could live their lives without having to worry about the racism or the Malians or any of this like divide because they would be seen as the ones who saved the world well 20% of the world. Did Aaron want to do it? No. And it was such a heartbreaking scene when he was having his conversation with Armin, how he doesn't want to die. He doesn't want to leave his friends. He doesn't want to leave Mikasa, but he knows that it's the only way around it. It was so, so brilliant to see these like alternate universes of almost what Aaron saw could happen, but he knows that it just wouldn't work. The cabin with him and Mikasa, it was a beautiful little few years that they had on their own, but he knows that his time with the Titan will mean that he has to die and at the same time all his other friends while Mikasa and him are fine people like Armin are out still battling and still trying to survive and so having these different options and yet the only option for his friends to survive was to cause the rumbling and to cause his own demise. I love that. Um, I mean, I don't love it. I wish that there was some other way around it in which they could all survive and all be fine but 
that's kind of, I think, the story of Attack on Titan, for me at least, is that at the end we see Parody grow to this brilliant, massive city. It's got skyscrapers, it's developed, it's come so far. There's still this relentless cycle of war that, no matter what happens, can't be stopped. He, he wipes out 80% of humanity and his friends are seen as heroes. That's great, but war will just never stop. Someone else will always find something to fight about. And that's kind of the tragedy of Attack on Titan in a way, because although Eren succeeded in his job, making his friends heroes so that they could live their lives in peace, it, it, it didn't matter in the grand scheme of the world, but to Eren, his only goal was his friends. I thought Armin and Zeke's conversation in the paths was, uh, again, an amazing little moment that Zeke had given up and he thought the only goal of living was to just multiply and, and, and reproduce and, and that's it. There's no real point to actual life. When Armin makes him realise, no, it's the little moments. It's Armin's, that was a great moment, seeing Armin's favourite moment of just all his life is just running to the tree with his two best friends. That, Oh, it's, just, oh, it's so good. And then followed by, I mean, Zeke knew he had to die. He knew that what he'd done was wrong and that he had to die to help the cause. But, but Levi didn't have to do it in such a brutal way. The way that Levi just swoops in and just takes his head clean off. Oh my God, I was not expecting that at all but at the same time i'm so glad that they did that with levi because in a way i thought they were going to sort of sideline levi he's injured he's battered he can't do a lot and yet they still allowed him to complete his character arc such a beautiful moment at the end of levi with his salute to all the other soldiers to Owen, to all his fallen comrades levi is a soldier he was built up as a soldier and so to see him sort of find peace with it and and say look i've completed the tasks that you wanted me and needed me to do and him at the end handing out lollipops thinking back to Hanji it's just it's such a nice moment that he's like at peace he can he can let the soldier life go and and, and he's happy with it that's what I loved about this finale is that all the characters got a good resolution Reiner was able to relieve himself of the Titan powers meaning he doesn't have to die and and he can still survive Connie getting told from Eren that his mum's gonna turn back into human again while we didn't even get to see that moment oh, it's just such a good feeling knowing that that somewhere has happened thanks to Eren thanks to his sacrifice these people have all got their resolution and these friends of his are gonna live out their lives happy Mika's ending while so sad is just I mean it's the best outcome that she could have got if they'd have stayed in the cabin then Eren would have died due to his titan powers and she would have been left alone still with all the world at war against her kind whereas as we see in the credits she happily lives she has kids she potentially gets married to Jean I think it's Jean I'm not sure if it is it's, I don't know if it's confirmed or not but she was definitely with someone and I think it was Jean but she never truly lets go of Eren and obviously she dies with his scarf on it was just it was so nice they were finally reunited again at the end and they were free of, of, of everything uh, in, in the world. I'm really glad that they spent so much time fixing Eren and Armin's characters, doing these sort of flashbacks or alternate memories, alternate universes things, because their friendship was so core to the show. And obviously Eren had to push them away. And it was just such a nice moment having Eren tell him I was doing it for a reason to push you away because otherwise it wouldn't have worked and yeah it's so sad because Eren literally says he didn't want to do it he, he literally had to kill his mother and save Bertolt so that this outcome would happen he had to sacrifice his own mother his own life he had to make his friends hate him just so that his friends could have the freedom and the life of peace till till they die but at least we got that sort of satisfaction of him saying sorry to armin and and armin accepting that he's done wrong as well and they're gonna see each other in hell and the <laughs> while such an awful horrible image that they're both just gonna go to hell there's something beautiful as well about it of oh it's the friends reuniting and connecting together in hell for the rest of eternity Aaron's death scene was done so well and animated so so well i feel like his head was down and his eyes were closed through the entirety of the rumbling because he did not want to see the devastation that he caused the horrific scene of the mother trying to save a child and she ends up falling and dying herself but her child survives this is the pain that Aaron has caused but the only time and the only thing that makes him look up is one final look at mikasa one final look at the one that he loves before 
she has to take his head off. The voice actors did brilliantly throughout the show, but in this scene, oh my god. Armin's voice actor did not have to scream and be in pain as much as he was when he saw Eren's dead head. Uh, it was it was piercing, it was it was horrific, but oh my god, what talent that voice actor has. I mean, Jesus. There's so many other things I could talk about for the Attack on Time finale. Annie finally being reunited with her dad. The scene of Jean and Connie literally accepting their death, and oh my god, I thought they were gonna die. Luckily, they got turned back, but that would've been awful. There's so many brilliant different little bits in this episode that it's hard to talk about all of them at once, but I just love, I love this show. Attack on Titan to me isn't the best anime, it's the best TV show of all time for me. I loved Game of Thrones, but I genuinely think this tops it. From start to finish, I have not felt so satisfied and been blown away by a story. So many different twists and turns and deaths and just brilliant action scenes and character development. The journey and story that this manages to take you on is something that is, I've genuinely never felt and seen before. From the season one to season three, thinking that there's nothing outside the walls, to the surprise and shock of season four that literally changes the entire world and everything, to later on where you realise Eren has literally devised this entire story. He literally killed his own mother, he did all this. Every single thing in the story was because Eren made it so, so that his friends could live on in peace. And while he didn't fix any major world problems, he killed so many, the only reason he did it was for his friends. It's kind of selfish. Well, it's very selfish. It's not great. This story, the characters, I will adore and love and rewatch so many times throughout my life. The feeling I felt of Erwin's speech in season three, and Levi against the Beast Titan, it was just such an unreal watch and a feeling that I will probably never get again. To then the confusion of season four. When it started, I was just so baffled. To then trying to understand Eren and then the horror that the rumbling caused, it was just so, so much packed into four seasons of unbelievably brilliant fiction, brilliant storytelling, brilliant characters, music, animation, everything. This is a journey that I will never ever forget and I love the show for it. So let me know, what did you think to the ending of Attack on Titan? Did you like it or did you not feel as satisfied as I did personally? But anyway, let me know in the comments and I will see you next time on the Anime Club.